Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to the Sunday Sim Show. This is my hot fiance <laughs> Robert. This is my beautiful fiance Yvonne. <laughs> and today we'll be talking about compromising. Um, compromising is basically an agreement or um, kind of you know settling on um, something that two parties might have had a dispute about or something that um, one person might have felt one way about one thing and the other person felt another way and they just kind of came to a happy medium in a sense. Um, one example that me and my fiance have compromised on is um, our way of eating. Um, my fiance is not necessarily um, allergic but more so a preference to gluten so I have agreed to um, only make like pastas that are gluten free and um, a lot of other foods that we eat are basically don't have gluten in them. Uh, along with the butter that we use. Um, <laughs> when I first started cooking for him, he could basically immediately know when um, there was something in, <laughs> in the food that he can't, you know, eat because he would react to it. So, I basically um, just, that was an easy agreement because I didn't want to feel like, you know, I was hurting him. <laughs> it helps her too, so. Yeah, and yeah. it helps me kind of eat cleaner, eat a little bit better as well. Um... You might also have compromises with your parents or your siblings, you know, your roommate, um, you know, persons like that. Basically somebody who you share your space, space with and your time with um, no will normally have a compromise with them. Any other examples? Yeah, uh, one of the biggest ones for us, um, I actually don't have a car right now. Uh, my car got repoed, so um, that's a whole nother conversation in itself. <laughs> There's a lesson behind that. But um, she compromises a lot um, with letting me use her car because um, we both have pretty... Her schedule's busier than mine. But um, yeah, so sometimes I can't do things I want to do because I have to make sure she gets to school or to work. So there's a compromise there. Um, and especially making my schedule so I'm able to make it on time to pick her up or drop her off at both school and work. Um, that's, yeah, that's a big <laughs> compromise. But um, with that too, she's letting me use her car. So um, we're sharing the car. That our schedules have to be in sync pretty right. much. Because mm -hmm. um, we're running around all day. Yeah. Um, but with that, something else I wanted to talk about is being together, which like I said, there's always lessons and stuff. And things so with us having to share a share car we're together a lot um, which is good we get to spend time together especially right before we get married so we get that that one-on-one -on -one time a lot um, especially days when she's not at work or school because then we're just going all day but we're doing it together so um, and another thing with the togetherness She's working on switching up her eating, so I told her I would do whatever she wants to do as far as eating goes. Um, so I'm going to switch to however she wants to eat, which is still better, but um, of course it's going to be a little different for me. A little bit, slightly. Slightly. But, um, yeah, my discipline is good, so I'll be alright doing it. Yeah, I'm the one that needs disciplining. So basically what I decided to kind of start doing is kind of lay off of the red meat and only try to eat, um, if I'm going to eat a meat, just fish or um, or chicken. And I'm going to try to eat a lot more vegetables and fruits, lay off the artificial sugars, which is really, really hard for me, and not eat as much carbs as I'm eating, which is really, really probably the biggest thing for me because there's like carbs in everything. Um... So if you see her with a bunch of any of that <laughs> stuff, call her out on it, okay? Just yeah. saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I went through it, too. I used to love bread, so. But, um, like we said in one of our previous videos, basically our taste buds change every 21 days. Um, so I figure if I can do it for at least a month, then the next, you know, day, month, what have you, it'd be a lot easier for me to eat healthier, um, and, you know, I don't want to call it a diet because diets come and go uh, opposed to it being a lifestyle change. So I want it to be more so of a, a lifestyle change. That way, once we um, have kids after we get married, then 
we can kind of have him eating the same way we're, we um, we're going to be eating too. Plus, once we start living together, once we get married, it'll be a lot easier for us to cook for each other. A whole lot easier. A whole lot easier, <laughs> yeah. And, I don't know, it's <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. Um, We'll definitely post some videos up for you guys to take a look at um, so you can kind of see how we're doing. And I actually just posted a food yeah. video. Um, that one, that was pre-decision um, of changing this eating because, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of cheese on that one. But um, And I love cheese. But, yeah. <laughs> so you won't see many foods with a lot of cheese anymore. But we'll be posting up more food videos just to give an idea because a lot of people do ask about that. Um, and as far as compromising goes, um, we'll post some of the compromises that she has to do with changing eating. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's going to be a challenge. If I'm missing my head next time, you know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you guys are wondering what's this behind behind me, we went to New York. We got a awesome caricature done. That's me and Robert. I think it looks adorable. It's something that I've always wanted to do, and we got it done in New York. The guy was really, really good, and it only took like eight minutes for him to do. It was really fast. So, um, in the meantime, just keep uh, watching our videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we will keep you guys up to date on how our wedding plans are going, and our moving together, and everything else. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. Bye.